All righty, I'm Johnny McRae, PDGA number 9852, Team Latitude 64, here with my in the bag at beautiful Arizona Vista Del Camino Park. And uh, we're going to go over what I got in my bag as of th for this year, the 2015 Memorial. Um, I'm going to be, I was talking with Eric McCabe, and I want to be the first guy with a turnover triple X. And so I've been uh, trying to hit every tree I can with this thing. And I just got it back, at, actually. Was in the water, spent a little time in the water soaking, and uh, so this disc I'm just carrying around trying to beat up because I really think that a beat up triple X might be a really good disc. So I'm hoping to work this into the bag eventually. And I just got this from Eric McCabe, a bio, my first bio fusion enforcer. And uh, everybody's telling me there's a very dest destroyer like, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can get out of this. I haven't actually thrown it yet, but. He actually just gave it to me like less than five minutes ago. So I'm excited about throwing this one. And uh, with the wind picking up here in uh, this week, I'm thinking the enforcer is going to be doing a lot of work for me. All right. Let's go over a disc that I am throwing for sure. Let's start with my putters. And I got uh, two shields here that I mainly putt with for like inside the circle putts. And... Uh, these basically the two shields that I'm throwing, medium BT shields. And I basically only throw these for putts. I don't even really upshot with these two. I only putt with them. And, uh, I try to keep it like probably 45 and in with these two. So when I get a little longer out, I use this shield, my Trilogy Challenge shield. For some reason, this thing just loves to go in the basket from distance. I made some really nice putts around 100 feet with this thing, just throwing them straight in. And uh, so this is my long distance putter as of now. And then when it's windy, I go to a BT medium harp. This one says Connell. It's got the, what would this be? This would be the Finnish stamp. So that's a little different name. They say it makes it more overstable, but I don't know about that yet. <laughs> but this is what I use when it gets a little windy for putting. Great putter when the wind for sure. Then I have a, driving T trilogy challenge shield that I put medium as well that I drive with this is my turnover driver and I put this especially in the bag for hole one here at Vista and uh, it's a great upshot disc as well this is what I upshot with most of the time or I use my VIP harp very busy out here so we got to watch our heads um, and this VIP harp is really nice I use this for most upshots and for short shorter drives where when it gets windy really good flyer you can trust this guy try this out and then i got one more i got another shield that i drive with and this is a hard shield this one got stuck in the gunite out here yesterday during that uh exhibition match and got a little chewed up but uh from that guy yanking it out of there but uh it's probably still gonna fly really overstable actually so this is what I drive with a lot all right now on to mid ranges and for the memorial I have taken out some and put in a new one and I have still have this in the bag this is my turnover zero hard mace and uh, I can hyzer flip this one if I throw it real hard I can put a lot of hyzer on it and it'll still flip over and it'll flip over into the wind very easily and then I have a gold line mace which is also a turnover mace and uh, this one I have to turn over to get it to turn over but it holds the line if I turn it and it's really nice and then I'm throwing this mace that I got from my buddy Kyle Sawtail who gave to Jamie Mosier who gave to me it's awesome how the network works but uh and this is my straight mace and uh this flies really really straight and it'll be a, if it's windy, it'll be with the turnover guy. So that will be that. And then I got another disc given to me by Eric McCabe. It is a first run truth, which is actually a fugitive now. And this disc right here has got some overstability. I can throw it really hard with an Anheuser angle and it'll hold, just hold that angle into, into a headwind. And it doesn't go flip real hard like the Mesa's will to, into the headwind. This guy will hold it and be nice and controlled into a head run you can really get on it so i'm really actually liking the fugitives so try those out 
And then I got still in the bag for an overstable mid-range. I still got the triple X in the bag. And uh, this one here is finely tuned, but not a straight, like I'm trying to get that blue one. But I, uh, I can really work this one into the wind. Really trustworthy disc. I'll be throwing this a lot. On a lot of most of these par fours, I'll be throwing this for my second shot, trying to nice little easy skip, not a big skip, right up to the bucket, hopefully. All right, now for fairway drivers, I got five Saint Pros, still consistent to what I'm doing, and uh, this is basically my go-to Saint Pro, my probably my go-to Saint Pro for sure, and this one I can work in all angles. It does pretty much anything I ask it to, and this is a Saint Pro. If you haven't tried those, get them, because they work. And this one here is a newer one. And this one kind of, I, I got to throw this one with a little bit of hyzer, and it does a nice little slow hyzer. I can throw it flat, and it'll stay flat, and I can turn it, and it'll do a nice turn. Really nice, another Saint Pro. It's getting to be that guy's backup for sure, my go-to. Looks just like it, too. And then I got... A gold line Saint Pro, which another one that I got from my buddy Kyle Sawtell, and uh, this one here is a good. I can manipulate this one in all directions as well. It's another great disc right there. See that one flying a lot, I'm sure. And then I have another gold line Saint Pro, really pretty, shines in the uh, sun. And this one here's got a little bit more stability into it. I got to throw it really hard, to get, and it still wants to come out just a little bit at the end. And uh. Another great disc, great for the wind. And then my most overstable one is a Dimax that I special ordered. And this one's a heavy one, and uh, it's uh, really overstable. More overstable than any St. Pro I've thrown yet. And this one holds up in the wind a little bit better, so it'd probably get thrown more than I've thrown it ever before this week. So, yeah. All right, now to some, some distance drivers. I have... Six Giants. Got this turnover one for long bombs, big Anheusers into the headwind. And it's uh, been throwing this one since I started throwing the Trilogy Plastic. Same with this one. My just a little bit more overstable than that one, but still under. This is definitely an understable Giant. And I do big S's with this one as well. I like to get to throw this one really high to get it to come back out and very good one here. I have its uh, brother right here, which Devin Owens gave to me. And this one's brand new. He just gave it to me last week. And this one will be getting into the headwinds as well. The most overstable one in my bag. And this one, you think, uh, you know, they look a lot alike. So it's, hopefully I don't grab the wrong one. I keep them in my bag in order from overstability to understability. So I shouldn't make that mistake, but... Plus, they got different marks with different color markers on top, so I, I won't make that mistake. <laughs> All right, and then that's the next. It's probably my straight giant. I can't really, this one here, if I release it with Anheuser, it is a little bit understable as well. So it's basically a hyzer flip to straight and goes very straight at that point. So this is my hyzer flip giant. And then I got these two giants, which... This one is the second most overstable after the brand new red one. And this one is very overstable. This was a stickered weight giant. And this one is really another one that I got from Kyle. And uh, this is, I really like this one. This one will definitely be thrown a lot this week. And then this one here is like a straight headwind giant. I can throw this one into the headwind and it just wants to go straight with a little fall off at the end. So this one, when it gets windy, gets used a lot. And then I have three enforcers in the bag. I got two Lucid and one Fusion. And this Fusion I just put in the bag because of the wind yesterday for that exhibition match. And uh, this is a really good one, really fights the wind well, the Fusion. And then I have my two Lucid enforcers, which are actually very overstable as well. And uh, I've been throwing this pink one, one of the first discs I got, and I still Love this disc, and I know this disc will get a lot of use this weekend too, especially when it's windy. So, it's a big disc in my bag for this weekend. That's pretty much it that I have. So, uh, 
Thank you all for watching. I'd like to th thank uh, Latitude64 for believing in me, Dynam Dynamic Discs for believing in me, and Westside Discs for believing in me. And uh, if you haven't, go out and try them. They make great quality discs for every shot. They have so many discs that you can, they definitely have the discs for you.